All right, this is going to be problem one of three that we're going to do on these videos here. Uh, and what I'm going to ask you to do, we're going to find the surface area of a math book. Now, I'm going to ask you, just pretend that the math book, um, you know, has all the faces and has like no openings. Just pretend, I mean, just pretend it's like a box, okay, is basically what I want you to do. Uh, what I want you to do is draw out all the faces with their centimeter measurements on it. So if you think about it, the math book is going to have six faces, okay. We're counting everything as a face around the outside. Calculate the areas of each surface individually and then give me the total surface area all together. And remember, in the end, what we're actually finding is how many of those square centimeters would fit on the surface of that shape. Not the inside, but the surface. If you have trouble with this, uh, you can always just watch the answer to this video and follow along with the answer if you want to and write down everything. It's fine with me. Um, but what I really want you to do is pause it, get your measurements, figure out what it is, um, and then watch the video to check it. In the end, make sure you keep all your work, make sure you have all your diagrams because that's what you're turning into me. Uh, so now would be a good time to pause the video, uh, get your measurements, come up with your answer, or continue the video, follow along if you're still kind of unsure of what we're doing here. All right, when we talk about this math book, I'm going to talk about it like this, like we're looking at it like this. Like what you're looking at right now is the front of the math book. Okay, so the front of the math book, obviously the opposite would be the back, top, bottom, side, side. That's what I'm going to talk about with this kind of an orientation here. Okay, So I've got down the measurements for what we want here uh, and I did it in centimeters like I asked you to do and if you have you know slightly different numbers than me then that's fine. It's not going to be a big deal. You'll just have to see how close you are. Uh, so I've got basically these are what I would call the sides. Okay, 26 by 3. These are the bottoms 22 by 3 and this is the front and the back, 26 by 22. So now we just need to find uh, all the areas of the individual surfaces to find the combined surface area. Uh, so the side is 26 by 3, so that's just 26 times 3. That's 78. So this one would also be 78, okay? because they're the same. Uh, my sides are going to be 22 by 3, which would be 66. And then the biggest surfaces I have are the front and the back, which is going to be 26 by 22, which is going to be 572. Now to find the combined surface area to figure out how many of those square centimeters would fit along all the surfaces, I just need to add everything together. So if you add everything together, and, and you could have done, actually, you could have just done this times 2, this times 2, this times 2, and added them all together, uh, because basically we have, you know, copies of each one. And all together, I got a surface area of 1,432 square centimeters. Uh, so along the outside of the book, on all the surfaces, I could fit 1,432 of those square centimeters on the surface of this book. And if you compare it to the box of kicks that we just did, I think if I remember correctly, the box of kicks was like 2,300. Um, so we've got a lot more for the box of kicks than we have for the book, which is obvious looking at it. It doesn't take as much uh, outside covering for it. So when you turn your stuff in, this is the kind of stuff I want to see. Diagrams right here uh, with your final combined total. 